Hey, what's up guys? Camp and Rusher here. Lots to talk about today. Fortnite OG2, a ton has leaked. Also, the item shops have leaked as well, so you'll know what to save your V-Bucks for and when. And a ton of hot fixes, updates, nerfs that people aren't so happy about have dropped in the last day. Epic is active right now. Let's start with OG2. So, the schedule has leaked and how it's going to play out. So there's going to be three seasons throughout OG2. Just the first three seasons of Chapter 2. It starts November 2nd. OG2 Season 1. That will run one week until Season 2, November 9th. And then that one will run for a couple of weeks till Season 3, November 23rd. One week of that. And then the Chapter 6 live event will drop November 30th. I am very excited for this, but I think a lot of people who maybe have stepped away from Fortnite, haven't played in a little bit, similar to last year with OG, the first iteration of it, there's gonna be a lot of people coming back. I'm very excited. I'm gonna be playing a lot of Fortnite during this month. And then, I mean, the hype just continues because the live event will lead us right into chapter six. One thing we also know about OG Chapter 2 from Wenzo here, it's an upcoming low rider hydraulics vehicle mod. It should be released in Chapter 2 OG. It'll give your car the ability to jump. You can drop it left, like in the image. <laughs> Gives you an idea what he's talking about. The car bounciness will increase by a lot, and it has unique audio when driving and tilting the vehicle. I feel like this releasing around the time of Snoop Dogg for the next festival season makes a lot of sense. I saw a couple leakers mention that as well. I don't know if that would be a collab in some way, but Chapter 2 OG is the expected date. Now, while we are on the topic of OG Chapter 2, kind of makes sense to talk about this, and that is reload mode. A lot has changed, but a lot more is going to change. Fortnite began testing and working on a completely new reload mode around 10 days ago. It uses a different code name than Chapter 1 Reload. It'll most likely be Chapter 2 Reload for December and January. Now, these dates aren't official. Hypex is basically saying they are going to revamp the reload mode, bring in basically an entire new map with chapter two inspired biomes, etc. So I think this could be for chapter six. That's what this tweet's implying here, but it also could be launched with chapter two OG. I'm not too sure how they'll do it. I think it would make the most sense chapter six, right? We actually get to enjoy chapter two POIs with the main mode. And then once it goes away, if you're still craving to play chapter two stuff, don't worry, Reload is right there waiting for you, Chapter 2 version, right when Chapter 6 begins after the live event November 30th. Also, speaking of Reload, currently, today, there was a hot fix today for the mode. Thunder shotguns added, combat AR and SMG, hunting rifle, hand cannon, combat pistol, and the shield keg. They said they were going to drop a big update before the end of the month, and they have done so. We did hear leaks about the map changing, etc. Uh, Paradise Palms, the desert biome, but I wonder if they'll change the map before the new big revamped version that should come here in a few months. But yeah, we'll stand by, subscribe, turn your notice on. I will keep you updated as soon as we get more info on this. They also made this change to reload. Storm sickness threshold has been decreased, which is the damage taken by storm before SS activates. So it's 100 now instead of 600. Storm Sickness now deals four additional damage instead of two per tick. And then Storm Circles 11 and 12 no longer have any wait time, but have double the shrink time. So it'll happen instantly, but they'll take a lot longer to shrink. I mean, this is one you got to try out and play to see how it feels, but just be aware of those changes. Also, hover jets were removed from tournaments yesterday. I think this is great and necessary for the comp guys. I totally get it. Hover jets are the meta. They are powerful and I love them. I'm a huge fan of them. I think I like where they're at right now and they were nerfed uh, about a week ago now. They were nerfed actually again yesterday and the only nerf that happened here is the initial boost nerf by 60%. You'll now slow down almost instantly when you stop using the jetpack. Honestly, people are upset about this i said this with the last nerf but i've played i did a big session yesterday after the nerf and the jetpack still feels fine still feels powerful as long as they don't take it too far and ruin this item because i think it's a huge part of the fun and the craziness that the marvel seasons had to offer so far 
Also the Monarch Pistol. It was actually changed in a weird way. It was kind of a buff and a nerf, but it doesn't really matter now. We don't actually have to cover it, but if you noticed it changed drastically a few days ago, it was because there was some damage exploit. It's now been reverted back to normal. So they changed this four days ago, and then just today, I guess they fixed the exploit, and you can use the Monarch Pistol exactly how it launched, right? Just how it felt when it started the season. Okay, here are all the Fortnite item shops and it's actually leaked until September 5th. So eight or nine days worth of shops have leaked. And I'm just gonna go rapid fire and put them on your screen and you can kind of go through them. It's all the names, like it's actually everything, outfits, bundles, things like that. So yeah, they, these may change, but they seem so specific. I'm sure most of this is going to be right. And I think they've got the days, like days since it's been here. So you can kind of see the rarity of some of the stuff too, if you don't recognize the name right away. More info on the upcoming Heroes vs. Villains Marvel LTM. We've discussed it a little bit, but even more stuff here. It seems like it will be similar to the end game LTM in some ways. Each team has a limited amount of respawns. The team with no respawns left loses. Down but not out is enabled. You may be able to swap teams and merge squads in game. Bunkers will not be enabled. All Chapter 1 Season 8 and Chapter 2 Season 4 Marvel Mythics should return and it will have a unique loot pool. Really looking forward to this thing. I cannot wait. I'll be playing it right when it releases. We don't have a release date on this yet. I'll update you as soon as we know more. But yeah, that's the reason, as we talked about with the new season update, why all of the Chapter 2 Season 4 uh, Marvel Mythics were added to the game. It's for this game mode, not for the main BR mode, okay? Upcoming map change. This was from the trailer a while back, but we didn't really talk about it because there was so much going on. There was just other things to discuss, but the Red Tower will look like this sometime this season. It was shown in the trailer, as Hypex mentions here. It's obviously not looking like this yet. It looked like it in the trailer. It's coming at some point. I would think later on in the season, as we get closer to the wrap-up, maybe it's some type of build-up teaser for the mini event we expect to get with every season now, right? It seems the pattern is officially here with three seasons straight of, in my opinion, pretty cool mini events and build up events. Fortnite has also asked some players in a new survey whether they like the projectile based shooting system that was added in chapter five. Basically asking players to choose between our current, you know, non hit scan bullet drop meta or the old hit scan system that we were used to for the first four chapters of the season. Uh, everyone's gonna have different opinions on this. I do like both. I think they should just keep switching it up. Some people say having a balance of the two within the same season could be ideal. I don't know if I agree with that. I think it should either be the hit scan, the old system, or the projectile based modded new system, but we can kind of flip flop through different seasons, different chapters, just to keep the game feeling fresh but that's just my opinion. Let me know yours in the comment section below. A new synced icon emote from Vic Blends was dropped yesterday as well. So just showing you what it looks like. Pretty fun, cool emote. And then a reminder, now that we're a couple weeks into the new season, we do have our first downtime update next week. We'll be covering it here as soon as downtime begins, but Dr. Doom will have another style. And you can see, we talked about it on update night, but you can see what it looks like because of one of the posters and then because of his Lego style. It seems to be more of a, a medieval style. This will probably happen when storyline wise, like he's trying to, Doom right now is trying to craft a better armor to protect him from Pandora's box's powers. This armor will let him control these powers to the max. So that's what he's doing right now. So once that is done storyline wise, I think that's when the skin will release. I think it looks really good just based on these two shots. Let me know what you think. That's all I got. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, cool the camp and rusher. Touch that like button. Take care. Talk soon. Goodbye.